When you think that James Webb Telescope is not done yet, we got an interesting image that will spark some curiosity in your minds about what are the interesting coloration and all the interesting focus that is happening on this particular image. This image will really look fascinating in terms of an action that is about to be portrayed. Some people call it a form of a prey predator type of situation where a triangular is about to consume something that is in its focus and it's really fantastic to see that illustration that is portrayed on this particular image. Now, this is indeed a type of a nebula that is a couple of light years away. We're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about the coloration and different types of combinations that are showing different activities and also what impact does this have in terms of the past images that James Webb Telescope released and this one that is right now focused on the future of understanding the nebulas that are around our solar system or mainly outside our solar system many light years away so let's dive into this particular video oh yes the james webb telescope has released some images at the beginning stages of its exploration which is the carina nebula and recently the phantom galaxy i don't call it the phantom nemesis and we actually created videos on those particular galaxies and nebula so you can check them out right there but in this particular video we're going to dive into this particular image here pretty much inspired by a triangular spider according to some analysts here and when you look at it closely it's actually about to narrow down into a particular region in space this kind of inspired from a triangular spider's hairy legs as you see around the focus region that is in this particular image right here okay okay it's not actually triangular spider nebula but it actually has a name that is officially known as 30 dorados and this particular nebula in this particular image it actually stretches to around 340 light years across and it's really interesting because this image was actually produced using the near infrared region of the James Webb telescope and this shows tens of thousands of stars that have never been seen before because of the cosmic dust that were obscuring this so the near infrared region of the James Webb telescope is able to reveal these stars that were once hidden by this cosmic dust now majority of these stars are actually young stars and these young stars are actually actively massive and they are shown in the style of the pale blue color that is revealed in a couple of regions around this particular image. Now this particular region is one of many local groups that are housing many various hot and massive stars. Now this particular group which is the triangular nebula is known to be the largest and the brightest regions that is for star formations that is in our close to our galaxies mainly our milky way now you might be wondering there are many regions around the galaxy that may have similar type of things like this particular triangular nebula but why this particular region the most interesting answer is this it all comes down to the chemical composition of this triangular nebula and it's similar to some other regions in space that is about a billion years old and when we see that letter b in terms of billion what does that ring a bell about it means that you know you're getting close to the big bang theory regions which is to the singularity space and it's really fascinating to see that these particular regions are known as cosmic moons and these cosmic moons are in that particular universe regions that you have gangetic that i pronounce it star formations and so these here are regions also where there is a peak in the formation of stars in that particular region so really fascinating to have this actually realized but then when you look at our own milky way and specific regions around our milky way that may have similar nebulas like this the only difference is that the chemical compositions of those regions is far different from that in this particular triangular nebula so we can make that comparison with those regions within our milky way and the triangular region however the triangular region is way more fitting due to its chemical composition which is rightly 
similar to that of the star forming regions that is known as the cosmic noon. Now looking at other facts about this particular triangular nebula, it is actually a stellar nursery that is around 161,000 light years away from our own region which is earth and other images have been actually be revealed before this particular new image one actually coming from the mosaic view by the hubble telescope and the other is a cosmic web view by joseph b macrobe in terms of the big cavity we notice that there is a blasting of radiation that is from the young stars that causes this cavity to be revealed and now this cluster of young stars shows that there is a really strong pillar that is surrounding this region that is known to be the densest pillars that known to be called the proto stars and these proto stars they do evolve into shaping the nebula now in terms of other facts about this particular region there is another image about this particular region that is the mid infrared and we can see the contrast according to nasa's imagery of going from the near infrared region to the middle infrared region and we see that the middle infrared region shows stunning imagery mainly looking at how cooler gases are revealed in addition to that it actually can be broken down into four compartments and this four compartments reveals the following the presence of the blue color we have the red color we have the green color actually you can rearrange it there a little bit of some little bit of more combination of all and so what they figured was that the blue color is atomic hydrogen the next one is the green color which is a molecular hydrogen and finally we have hydrocarbon dust which is represented as red now in addition to the comparison between the near and the mid infrared you can see a little bit of a really bright star at the top of the cavity region and once you move away from the near region and head into the mid region we see that that sharpness is actually broken away and the glare due to the diffraction and this actually gives you a little bit of a sharp take and less of that bright take of that same star so it's really wonderful to see how the mid infrared region actually penetrates through that particular gas clouds and dust compared to the near infrared region which does less of that so it's really incredible to see that long wavelength having that effect as you move away from the near infrared region to the mid infrared region knowing the location of this particular nebula which is called the large megalanic cloud galaxy this actually shows a little characteristic that surprised a lot of astronomers and this actually reveals that yes the webb telescope near infrared spectrograph caught a very young star doing that which changed astronomers previous view and beliefs about that star and speaking of it is about these pro stars that emerged from their dust cocoons and helped shape the nebula now these pro stars they actually thought that they might be a bit older and already in the process of clearing out a bubble around themselves however they say that this near infrared region of the spectrograph shows that the star was only just beginning to emerge from its pillar and still maintained an isolated cloud of dust around itself so this is really wonderful to see this particular analysis being produced and how this can actually change understandings of star formations thereby reinforcing things that are understood about the formation of star coming from the other images that we got like the Carina nebula so overall i hope you found this really informative about this particular triangular nebula don't think about the triangular think about the actual name which i can't remember right now but let me do my research and check it out so the actual name is called the what the 30 dorados there we go i should say that more often nebula i hope you found this really informative about this particular nebula a couple of interesting perceptions are be, that have been changed and more things to come in terms of what james webb telescope has to offer in terms of revealing its capacity or capability in terms of the near infrared region heading to the mid infrared region and the power behind penetrating through things 
that involves gas clouds and revealing stunning images that will blow our minds so i hope you found this really informative please hit a comment down below let me hear your thoughts about this but that way i can talk to you all soon stay smart as always and believe in yourselves